energy depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me hi guys welcome back so today we're going to be doing a get ready with me just because i want to play with the new aoa <laughs> eyeshadows the new um cherry blossom eyeshadows that came out this one here hirosaki you guys probably have seen the shorts of the swatches and everything of these that I put up this one here in Sakura Season, more browns. This is more um, Mariyama. I'm sorry if I say things wrong. You guys know that I suck, but <laughs> that's that. And then we have Himaji. Himaji. So I want to try some of these out and see what we can do with them, um, along with some other stuff. You know, there's always other stuff. There's always other stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and let's get into this <laughs> first i'm going to go in with the impossible primer from wet and wild and put that on because we are about to use another wet and wild product that you know it's old it's been out for a while but i just got it back in my shade i've never had it in my shade before so i would actually like to try it out and see what I think of it. I never gave it a really good chance before. And it seems like a lot of people love it. So now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild foundation. Their Photo Focus foundation. That is, it's so weird. It comes like this and you're supposed to like draw on your face. But honestly it seems really like not clean to me to do this. But I'm living in the moment people. I hope I'm not putting too much of this on. Am I putting too much of this on? <laughs> we're gonna find out yeah we are uh-huh gonna use my wet it's not wet and wild but my wet pawpaw sponge and just blend this out i put a lot on oh my goodness okay that might have not have been the right thing to do whatever i have a lot to cover up <laughs> And now for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Just on my chin and my T-zone. Love the huge doe foot. It just kind of highlights a little bit. Because the Starry Concealer is the same color as my basic tone, my skin tone. And I've noticed that that actually makes my eyes look a little bit better to keep it to my skin tone and just brighten the t-zone area things change when you get older ladies we gotta do it a different way than the young chickens <laughs> i'm gonna go in with the aoa perfect powder which is almost gone and i'm just gonna mush my thing in there and try to settle down any kind of fine lines that like to poke up as quick as possible and especially my nose because my nose has been having trouble keeping product on it and I'm also going to go in with the Laura Mercier, Mercier under eye setting powder for my eyeballs I'm going to do my brows now so I'm going to go ahead with the AOA slim brow and get these bad boys done my wolves as I like to call them because I'm growing them out now when it comes to the cherry blossom palettes I don't see like a, a matte this is the one that I think is the closest to like a setting shade and it's just too brown for me so I'm going to actually go into the pawpaw quad um vendella you guys know this is my favorite where's my brushes totally forgot my brushes here and I I have a dip in this i use this religiously to set my eyes um from the concealer and all of that that i do to it i just level it out because it creases like an sob with my hooded eyes and then i go in with that powder that eyeshadow it's so smooth and silky and it's fantastic at allowing other products on top of it now i don't know what freaking palette i want to play with i really like this one i really really do but if the formula is not good it'll screw me oh 
oh, what do I do? I'm wearing leopard print, so maybe I should go more for like this one or this one. I think this one might be the one. I, don't worry, I'll show looks, more looks with other ones as well. I'm going to go in with that corner right there with a blending brush and just kind of start the transition here and see if this is good. Doesn't feel bad. You know, usually it's the mats I'm most worried about, and this mat is really good. So that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm going to take another brush and go into the middle color there. It's a little bit deeper of like orangey brown. Ooh, Ooh it scares me a little bit. But I'm going to put that on the lid and the outer V a little bit. Oh man, these blend like, like butter. These blend like butter. They blend so good. These matte shades are amazing in this palette. What palette is this called? Sakura Season. Sakura Season or whatever. Which is weird because you would think that would be more pinks. But I, I don't know. Alright, now I am going to cut my crease. Now I think what I'm going to do is go into this palette. And go into that middle like copper and put that on the lid. This scares me because, I mean, it's brand new. I don't know how it's going to act um, on the eyes. It's kind of a putty. So let's, let's find out. They have different kinds of textures and stuff. It's horrid with a brush. All right, I did find a brush that worked a little bit better on it this time. Thank goodness. Guess it was just the type of brush I was using. <laughs> it's not really giving me the umph that I want. I mean, onto the eyes from the palette, it doesn't look like anything. So I'm going to try a couple more different shades. And see if I can fix this at all. Oh yeah. Okay. It might just be that shade. That's pretty. So I ended up going with this color here out of Heimji. Heimji? I don't know. But that's what's on the lid. And then I'm going to go back into the first original Sakura Season. And I'm going to use the middle one and then this dark brown one for the outer V. Hoy vey. When life gives you lemons, girls. Blend. I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to like it. Now I'm going to go into the brown and deepen it up, hopefully a little bit. I do like it. You guys, I really, really do. I'm going to take this gold right here in Sakura Season and I'm going to put my finger into it. It's very gold. And I'm going to just add that to the middle to give it a little bit of a contrast. Okay, I'm going to do all that underneath of my eye and then we'll be right back. I'm going to use that same palette, the Sakura Season, which we've used the most probably. Where is my thing? And I'm going to go into this shade right here and just do a brow bone highlight. Hopefully it's a good. Ooh, baby. And just like that, there's love. Now I want to go into Himaji. I know I'm saying it wrong, um, but I'm actually going to go into this shade here and put that in my inner corner. Holy cow. Okay. Wow. These palettes are something else. Whoo. Shot miss A. <laughs> I'm also going to go in with the Urban Decay and Double Life and just put that. Should I... 
Is it more? It's a more orange look. You know what? I'm actually going to do Lucky. I'll do Lucky from Urban Decay on the inner water line here. I love the richness that the Urban Decay liners give. But $20 a pop. Can they please bring that down? <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and do a small cat eye maybe. I don't know. We should see. Okay, now that we have the eyeliner on, not too big, not too small, I want to go in with the 3D Foam Minks. These ones are in Nora. They're different. I don't normally wear Nora. I don't normally wear them. They're more spare, so we're going to see how that goes. So I'm going to return, and if I look wonky when I return, y'all know why. All right, well, Nora dries. I kind of really do actually like them. I'm going to go in with the AOA Perfect Contouring Bronzing Powder, and I have mine in Frappe. I love it in Frappe. And I'm going to go in with a ZC kind of like side swiper there. I'm just going to go right in and start bronzing up this face. I love this powder so much. A lot of people try to call me an egg now. Ha! <laughs> I just love it. I think it looks so good. So good. Okay, and then for blush, I think I'm going to just go in... I brought a couple with me just... Just in case, but I think I'm going to go in with my favorites from Amuse, their matte powder blush. What is this even in? Doll face, I think. And maybe their doll face blush, I'm not sure. But this is like the best blush. I'm going to go in with the same ZC brush. I don't care. I over blush. I started up here. And then I just blend, blend. Mm, I love the color. I love the color. I love everything about it. I love blush. Why do I love blush so much? All right, now highlight wise, highlight wise, I am going to go in with the Glow Within from Shop Missé called Brunch Date. Brunch. I've never understood brunch. Mm. Oh, good lord. Hello. I have to tone that down a little bit. Or not. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use the AOA setting spray. Oh, I did it again. Mute. I'm going to go in with the setting spray. Be right back. Now I'm going to go in with the Essence Lash Princess, the waterproof kind. Oh, love this mascara lifts up my false lashes too like super far i love it i also forgot to set my eyebrows <laughs> so i'm gonna go home with the nyx control freak and set my eyebrows i cannot believe i forgot to do that i'm having one of those days you guys i swear i'm having one of those days and now for lips this is where like i brought so much stuff with me for lips because i wasn't sure what look i was gonna do i need an orange lip like bright orange though or like a darker one I'm just gonna go in with Harper I'm gonna go in with Harper and see how this looks okay this is the AOA velvet lip Harper it looks red though no we're not doing that um okay we're gonna try Lana <laughs> Lana looks less red and it is still red you know what i don't hate it i don't hate the red lip what the f chamise dang i i'm happy with everything everything and most of it is chamise and uh uh yes i will leave everything that i used for this look listed down below for you guys thank you so much for giving me your time and i of course will see you guys in the next one Bye-bye.